All right, babies, it's that time again. Oh yeah, I had my hat on because it's so cold today. It disrupted my wacky hair. That's right, wacky hair can be disrupted. All right, so <laughs> as I feared, Diving into Job 3 was unpleasant. And for different reasons this time around. It struck me how uh, ornate the language is, which was why I've, I kind of put him in the poetic category box. Uh, you know, for somebody who's, um, wishing they were never born because their situation is so dire, the language he chose was not unlike Shakespeare, so, uh, another example of Probably not the word of God. Um, so I don't. There's. I don't really have anything to say about it. It's just if you read it, it's just really you know one line after another of you know I never should have been born and etc. And I don't know, what can I say to that? Uh, I think it's, I think it's good to, you know, have a piece like that in the Bible, you know, sort of an example of humanity and how circumstances can really kick our ass. Um, and then to have the experience of, you know, being strong in the midst of it. Um, yeah, but the language, if you look at the language, <laughs> it's so ornate and uh, sort of, yeah, just really kind of flowery. It's just like, um, flowery suicide. Uh, really following that um, more of a contradiction than a paradox that's what I'll say on that one um, see my car is always beeping I mean I have my seatbelt on it just doesn't register that's what happens when you have a car that has 375,000 miles on it yes baby So, yesterday was a good day in that, you know, at work, I, I was able to stay productive, and when I'm productive, then I feel like I'm, I have a clear conscience. <laughs> so today, uh, I'll have less to do, so it'll be a little bit more challenging, but see how I do with that and I'm just thinking about Jesus and you know how he wants to help us through our challenges and ordering our lives in a way that's good for our soul and good for our development and trying to extricate myself from the trappings of the past where Old Testament fear of God's retribution are still still has its claws in, in my sensibility and trying to be open to exactly 
how Jesus wants to reveal himself to me. So yeah, that's what's going on. Tomorrow I get paid, so that's when I check to see how well my savings are are working out. And if there's anything else I have to get rid of, I'm thinking of going to T-Mobile to save some money. Probably gonna do that, even though the service is horrible. Well, I wouldn't say horrible, but certainly subpar. And what can we talk about? I don't have a heck of a lot going on. Thank God for this car though, huh? Oh my Lord Jesus. This car, it's a 2008, it's a six cylinder. This is why Pontiac went out of business. <laughs> How are you gonna stay in business when your cars don't die? You gotta sell them, right? Yeah, I'm still driving that car from 30 years ago. Uh, yeah, so I finished John Doe. I was uh, I was uh, pleased that uh, I got to see Gary Cooper actually showing some emotion. You know, he did a real he did a nice job. More. You know, more so than usual. I think he's kind of known for sort of this deadpan uh, lifelessness. I don't know. I don't know why that's supposed to be uh, of value, but. And I don't know how they call it a comedy. Lord Jesus. It starts off kind of silly, but there's certainly nothing silly about it in like 75% of the film. But interesting, let's see, where's the metaphor there? Uh, we talked about it already. Just the average person and the average person uh, working against the machinery of control and greed and you know being misunderstood and ostracized and feeling like it's just you against the world are we back to Job again <laughs> Is that the thread here I'm missing? I'm a little dull this, these days. Um, yeah, and kind of a, a, a messianic uh, metaphor there. Um, <clears throat> but in the end, Jesus gets the girl. <laughs> Big kiss, nice wet one. Yeah, baby. Do you. And let Jesus do Jesus. Love you.